tacos. Too bad it's not Tuesday. My daughters, Taylor and Cassidy, flew out to Mexico for a few days to be here for the proposal. And Armando thought it'd be a good idea to take them to a local taco shop to get some authentic Mexican tacos. Oh, it's not going to be a fancy restaurant looking place as long as it's clean. Is this clean enough for you? I don't know, I have to see. So they have uh, meat, tripe, head. What's that mean? Like head meat from, from the head. <laughs> Literally from the yeah. head. I'd rather have meat from the normal part of it. OK. Ese es que puerco. Puerco. Sí, pork. Let me have that. OK, van a ser uno, uno, y otro. Beef. Beef. Y dos de carne para ella, por favor. Usted que me asiento. OK. Have a seat. Gracias. Gracias. I'm excited to eat my tacos. They'll be good. What ones did you get? I just got the alabada. Oh, I didn't want greens. It's guacamole. I don't yeah. eat guacamole. Do you want me to tell her? Here, there she is. Tell her. Right. Yes. Gracias. Um, de no, pero sin aguacate. Gracias. You're moving here. You've got to learn the culture. I'm just surprised you don't like guacamole. I've tried guacamole, and I don't like it. Gracias. Mm. Well, do you want to share that one? I ordered two, but she didn't bring me two. You can have it. You sure? Yeah. Where's the bathroom? Like, is there one here? You're going to use the bathroom here? I have to go. <laughs> right there. Let me see. Hey. Wait, is there a light? Oh. Uh, <coughs> it doesn't even <coughs> flush, and it stinks. This bathroom at the taco stand is nothing like I've seen before. Armando, come here for a minute. Here's a challenge. What? Come here. Now. How would you flush it? Um, you get that bucket, get some water and dip oh it in. Oh, my and it'll go. god. You're supposed to dip your own? Yeah. Don't touch it. You have to get smart about it. You do this. Yeah, that. And then kind of oh. make sure it's high up. Oh, my. No freaking way. You didn't know how to do that? No. Your I grandparents didn't. didn't do it like that? When you were a kid, maybe? No, my grandparents I mean, had a flushing say, toilet. Did they? It feels like it was back in the day. Oh, come on. I mean, close oh, <laughs> You're standing in okay. piss. Yeah, you're fine. Go ahead. You got to go. Your shoes are in it. Do what you got to do. Or you try it. Come on. Come on. Well, hurry up. If you're standing there, you're going to get the smell even longer. You just got to hurry up. It's. Nasty, I can't believe you're making me do this. I don't want to have to work to flush a toilet. It should just like flush. Oh my God. Make sure it's nice and full. You got it, see? Up higher. Oh my God. Oh God. And whoever thought about it, you leave it in a can there and you dip it in a big bucket and throw it down the toilet to flush it, that's just nuts. It is gross. What? For one, it, my shoes are, I have to throw them out. It's disgusting. You're dirty now, though. Oh. oh, now you're grossed out at me. Don't touch me now. Now we don't now need I PDA. Now <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, it's all <laughs> Um, But in all seriousness, are you OK with staying here and not oh, coming back to So I don't know if you heard, but that guy he actually just said in Spanish, adios. That guy just did? Yeah, he did. A man walks by and says, adios, which is a derogatory homophobic slur in Mexico. Well, I wish I would have known. I probably would have said something back to him. And then what? The fight or something uh, goes yeah. down? I've never been in public in Florida, and someone has been nasty like that to my dad. You can go on somewhere else. No, now I'm getting pissed off. Stop. 
I don't want us to get hurt. I really hope it is an eye opener for my dad. It's been for me because we aren't used to this. I really, I wanted to punch that guy in the face. Like that really makes my blood boil. Don't let it hurt your feelings. It's just ridiculous. People are so blind. What are you thinking? Like things like that is what I just try to explain to you, like why I'm worried and scared to be like affectionate in public. I guess I just have to learn to not care what anybody says, but it still, still bothers me. We can't give him the power. We give him power and he, get, he gets exactly what he was looking to get out of us, a rise, you crying, people upset, and we can't let it happen. The sad part is Armando was just feeling more free with himself and more open with me. And then one word from a guy can tear it all down. Just keep living your life as you see fit. I mean, I'm trying not to let it get to me, but it hurts me, to be honest. This is making me doubt how affectionate I, I am willing to be in public in the future. Sorry. What? Say something. I can't.